Mr. Pearson. Oh, hello. That last stew I had was pretty damn good. Glad to hear it. Make a cook of you yet? Sure, well, as you were. Arthur! 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 Stay away from me. But, but I got a tip. That's exactly what I'm afraid of. Oh, it's a goodie, I'm telling you. It always is with you. Then we end up hidden in a burning barn getting shot at. You're a sad man, Arthur Morgan. Sad man indeed. See, I like a horse well enough to not want to give... What now? You sweating yet, Dutch? Of course I'm sweating. We're in some disease-ridden, swampy, Dixie-whistling shithole. <laughs> uh, I meant about what Trelawney said about these bounty hunters. I'm not sweating as such, but maybe a little gentle perspiration. Until we know more, ain't too much harm in wasting good liquor on sweating. So? So, I think you should pay Mr. Trelawney a visit and find out exactly what he knows and who he spoke to. Take Charles with you. Oh, the sight of the pair of you would make a statue sing out its secrets. Okay. How are you doing, Molly? Fine. Fed up a moving all the time. Yep, just the way it is. Okay, I'll catch you later then. Sorry, ain't much company right now. This needs dealing with now, Arthur. How are you? Doing better. Excellent. Hey, I didn't tell Dutch about the little diversion on our supply run. Why not? I'll fight any time and any place. Yeah, and that's the problem. Anyway, I won't disturb you. All right, Arthur. Charles, I need you for some business in town. Come on. Okay. Where are we going? Dutch wants us to have a talk with Trelawney about these bounty hunters who are coming for us. Hoping he can tell us who they are or where they're coming from. Okay. And you're deputies now. <laughs> Something like that. As soon as we laid eyes on that fool of a sheriff who runs that town, I knew Dutch was gonna play him like a fiddle. On the run from one bunch of lawmen, working for another. Interesting. Hiding in plain sight, Dutch calls it. <laughs> hmm. So, spirits seem good. In the new camp, I mean. We got some space between us and that mess now. Ain't seen no more Pinkertons for a while. There's these bounty hunters, of course, but Dutch don't seem too worried about it. Can't believe they're still coming after us. We didn't even get away with the money. Yeah, but they don't know that. Of course. Trelawney. I've only met him a couple times, but he's... He's a strange one. Fear not. He's just a cockroach in fancy britches. But he gets into nooks and crannies the rest of us can. Reckon it's that one with the fire outside. Let's take a look. 
Someone got here first. So it seems. By the looks of things, it wasn't a social call. Check the house. You see anything there? This food's barely touched. Looks like he left in a hurry. What do you think? Found anything? There's some blood here. That ain't good. Big struggle. Pretty recent. Just Look. maybe uh, Tracks. 12 hours ago. Come on. But no body? Not yet. Let's go, girl. Hmm. They went down the path here. How's your tracking these days? All right, I guess. Hmm. Well, lead the way then. Not the kind of place I'd expect to see Trelawney staying in. No? Normally scams himself into the best hotel in town. You know, when me and Javier went down with Trelawney to get Sean after the bar fight, I swear, he talked the whole way and never actually said a damn thing. I thought you knew. That's his special talent. <laughs> they could be 20 miles away by now. We can track them that far if we need to. Depends on how much you want to find them. Yeah, I still ain't sure about that. Hey, look, let's go see what those fellas have to say. Excuse me. Yeah. Have you seen them? <clears throat> we're, uh, we're looking for our friend. I don't think he's here. <laughs> You seen a strange sort of feller? Sort of formal? Strange? Sure. Formal? Nah. He uses a cane. Looks a lot like this one. Yeah. All right, you two. Where the hell is he? You both better get out of here. Come in! Ah! At least hit me, bro. Thing. Tell me where he uh, is. You go to hell. You better tell me now, you son of a bitch. Okay. Okay, for Christ's sake. They took him to a cabin over by the cornfields. Which cornfields? Left. Down the path there by Braithwaite Manor. His head. All right, that should do it. Oh, 
Follow me. I think there's a way around so we don't have to go through the Braithwaite's place. Yes. I've spent enough time there. After you, then. You okay? I'm good. What do you think they want with Trelawney? Could be any one of a hundred things. It just depends if any of them involve us. You think he'll talk? Of course he'll talk. He'd sell his own sister to save a train fare. He don't know how not to talk. He don't know where we're holed up, though. At least I don't think he does. I don't know why Dutch still deals with him. Always disappearing for weeks on end. He's got his uses, and, well, loyalty matters to Dutch. Of course. But is Trelawney loyal? Yeah, kind of. I guess Trelawney ain't exactly disloyal. Just got a big mouth. Don't worry. If he talked, I'll goddamn find out what he said. Nothing's ever straightforward where Trelawney's involved. Learn that much. I mean, how much time have we wasted getting this fool out of trouble? He somehow manages to be both lucky and unlucky at the same time. <laughs> That's one way of looking at it. But he always finds some way to pay us back. Just when we think about cutting him loose, he brings us something big. I guess that's his special talent, keeping fish on the line. That must be it. Whoa! Let's get you out of here. Come on, boy. The thing is, after that sack, this will be remembered like a good time. Put the man down, gentlemen. Is that the lot of them? I, I think so. Uh, so you're uh, alive. Allegedly. Well, don't worry, they won't be for much longer. Look, go get them, Arthur. I can handle this. Don't deal with them, my brother. Don't let them get away. I could have told them anything. Quick, find them. They're trying to hide in the fields. Did you see those birds? this way I will find you bastards we need to find these bastards you 
wait till I find you. You're making a big mistake. Come on, you cowards. I'm telling you now, you boys ain't leaving here. Hey, check over here. We know who you are and we're coming for you. One more, Charles. Over there, where the birds are. Something on the ground over here. He's dumped his gear. Look around. He can't have gone far. <laughs> He's mine. Let me take him. I'll get out of here. You have my friend. He's not your friend. I'll give you money. Be Come on. He should have taken the money. I know. I'm a fool. Oh, shit. Thank you. Gunshots are coming from that barn. Come on!
He should be the last of them. <sighs> all right, let's go back for Trelawney. You all right? Yeah. Never goes easy, does it? Sure don't. Come on. Let's go see how badly they beat up the slippery feller. I wonder how much trouble he's brought with him. <laughs> Guess we'll soon find out. Seems like we can't catch a break now, Arthur. Our luck's held this long. We got out of worse scrapes than this one. Mm, so I heard. <laughs> sure. What's government agents and bounty hunters to us? Uh, I hope you're right. Mr. Trelawney, where are you? Over here, dear boy. Well, he's still here at least. Put your feet up, why don't you? You okay? Never finer. So, who was they? Uh, they were bounty hunters. Uh, attached to Cole Stoudemire. Okay. They weren't looking for me, per no. se. What you tell them? Not much. I told them I was an intellectual. Come down here from Oregon, looking for a job at the university. Of course, they didn't believe me. Seems you stirred up quite a hornet's nest in Blackwater. So I keep hearing. It might be best if I stay with you gentlemen for a while. Can't go back to that caravan now. All right, Charles. You take Trelawney back to camp. I'll catch up with you. Okay. There always seems to be more. More and more civilization. I want to get back in the open country of the West, or what's left of it, but well, even that ain't the way I remember it. Been too many Federals coming through. Might have got some horse sense. Hey there, I'll drive you wherever you need to go. I won't say no more. You cannot. What you want? You okay? <laughs> Do I look okay? <laughs> No. You look awful. Ugh. Awful. Look at me. Useless. I wasn't born to this. I didn't deserve this. I used to be a gentleman. Jeremiah Compson. Compson Stead. Good for you, if that's anything to boast about. They took everything from me. Who did? They. And what did they take? My whole life. A whole way of living a career. 
I stole a lot of things, but that's quite a lot to steal. Look at me here, living in the shit and the mud. I'm sorry. <laughs> My old house. The house my grandfather built. It's all dilapidated and destroyed. Repossessed by the bank. I'm sorry to hear that. I was supposed to live a different life. Me too. If only I could get my old things back. Personal mementos. A watch. Old pistol. My ledger. Where's this house again? Compson Stead. It's a north of Scarlet Meadows. <laughs> Banks says I can't go near it. I'm living rough over by Harris Field. Well, if I'm ever out that way, I'll see what I can do. Time. Time is hell. Judge, uh, uh, repossession order. By order of Judge Meredith Holden in the courts of the state of Lemoyne, we do hereby grant repossession of this property and all items herein to the Bank of Rhodes. M. Holden, Judge Holden, Henrietta Blackley Clerk, November 18th, 1895.
Ledger, watch, pistol. June 7th, 1855. Dear Sir, please accept this likeness of your family as a small token of appreciation for your assistance in the recovery of my property. Like your old pa, you're a cunning old dog and a credit to this community. <laughs> Yours, Colonel Joshua Nixon, the Ascension Plantation. April 2nd, 1870. Dear Mr. Thompson, I'm afraid there's no more work for you down here at the plantation. I'm grateful for the help you've given us and the help your pappy and your pappy's pappy gave us before you. These are trying times for all of us. You are in our thoughts and prayers. Yours truly, Colonel J. Nixon, the Ascension Plantation. That's the old watch. Now the ledger and the pistol. Dear Jeremiah, there ain't nothing here any value. I wouldn't give you a nickel for it. Come by for a sup of whiskey anytime. Bill. Yes. I was sorry to hear of Betsy's passing. Things is easier up there for sure. Okay, where's all this old crap? Dear Mr. Thompson, after numerous complaints from customers and fellow employees alike, we must terminate your employment. There's just no place for a man like you at the Central Union Railroad Company. <laughs> what you doing here? We found this place first. Yeah. Easy. I'm just looking around for some things. Hmm. 
That old revolver yours? <laughs> Finders keepers. Ah! Son of a bitch! Oh, God damn it! Damn it. Come on, Dan! Where are you going? Come on! It's ours! Ah. Get you! be the pistol. Uh, just the ledger now. Stay away from the boy. He don't want this. Heck, none of us want nothing to do with you. 
France. This your ledger? A list of slaves? Uh. Rewards. January 15th, Betsy, $17. January 18th, Louise, $12. May 18th, Wilfred, $18. May 24th, Minnie and Child, $20. somewhere near Rhodes when they caught me. Till the day I die, I ain't gonna forget the sound of that dog barking in my heels. But I don't suppose that day gonna be far off yet. It was 50 lashings yesterday and 50 more to come. I don't think I can take any more. Man said he was doing his job. Funny kind of employment if you ask me, but I suppose you ain't. Lights fading, so that's it for now. I do hope I live to see the end of this war. And justice went out. Ugh. June 64. God. Okay, girl. about us. Just when they needed us, they threw us away like, like shit on their boot. I'm, times wasn't perfect. I ain't saying that. It's just... It's all... It's all going to hell. Rack and ruin. Rack and damn ruin.
Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> you sh show some respect. I was respected once. I had a profession. You asked me to get you something. There's no bringing back what I want. I want my job, my pride, the respect accorded to a gentleman. What about this old crap? Huh? My things. Don't you understand? Those bastards, they changed everything. I was a good worker. I took pride in my work. They, they, they took it away. Pissed on my legacy. Old man, some jobs ain't for saving. And some legacies? Oh, do you... They are for Ooh, pissing What off. are you doing? That's, that's my history. <laughs> ah! God. Damn you! Damn you! I still exist! Oh! God. God. God.